Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to hack Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and get the best graphics possible. Let's get started. For some reason in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, the graphics menu is fairly limited. There's really not a lot of selection and it's missing some basic things like vertical sync. So even with everything cranked to absolute maximum, you can actually go behind the scenes and improve it even more. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below because everything you need to know is available here. It has a ton of great information as well as explanations to what everything is. Now it does say that this game speed is capped at 60 frames a second. You will not be able to go over that. Vertical sync is off by default. If you are a competitive player, you might want to leave V-Sync off just to ensure the maximum speed of the game, the maximum, I would say, accuracy possible is being driven. There is no delays in your experience. However, if you just want to beef up the graphics a little bit, make the game a little more pretty, then by all means, let's continue. Now, if you have a beefy graphics card, check out the anisotropic filtering. By default, it is listed at two. You can increase it all the way up to 16 times if you want to see some big visual differences. Now for anti-aliasing, you can change this if you want. You can enable TAA. I'm not going to because it says right here it causes noticeable ghosting and I really don't want that in my game. But if you do want a better visual presentation, you could try it out and see how it works. And again, if you have a beefy GPU, you can try out the super sampling. So it says right here there is an information bit on it and it says may have heavier performance impact on lower end GPUs. And yes, I'm going to try super sampling. Moving on to vertical sync, I actually don't know if I'm going to try this one or not. It does introduce input lag if it is turned on, but it will make the visual presentation a little better because there won't be any screen tearing. If you play competitively, leave this turned off. If you play casually and just want a good looking experience, turn this on. Now let's start hacking things up. So all we have to do is go to the configuration files listed. It's right here, just highlight this, right click it and click copy. Next, open your file explorer. In your file explorer, go to the address bar, right click and click paste. That'll bring up where you exactly need to go to edit these files. Next up, let's try some super sampling. So just a heads up, I do have an RTX 2060 Super. It is a fairly decent graphics card. If you have an outdated graphics card, I might advise against this step, but you can always just try it out. If it doesn't work or the game doesn't run very well, just go back and undo what you did. So let's copy this over. I'm going to copy this letter for letter. So right click copy, open your folder here again, go into your engine, right click it, don't left click it, go to open with notepad, go to the bottom of this, paste it in, file, save. Once that's done, right click it, go to properties, flip it over to read only and click OK. Now I'm going to launch the game and show you before and after. If you want to configure things even more, you can take a look at that guide, or you can also take a look at your video card's control panel. Both NVIDIA and AMD let you configure settings on a game-by-game -game basis. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully this will give you a bit of a visual boost in an already beautiful game. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, 
leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.